Hey everybody, it's Walid. So today's video is super cool. If you know that I have a series called Surprise My Industry Friends, which is the longest title ever, but what it is is that I take you guys to people who are working in this industry and I ask them questions and I put them on the spot for you in hopes that they would answer the questions that I know go through your mind. This one is Haley Amaya, who is a cosmetics model and a lot of catalog models with world famous Wilhelmina models in Los Angeles. Okay, so before I start real fast, 10 seconds of this, um, in the past people have expressed some discomfort or just disdain at the fact that I surprise my friends. These are my friends, these are people that I trust. These are my friends, these are people that I know. These are people that trust me, my friends. So some people have asked me, hey, um, don't you think it's rude that you do this? I would be so furious if someone did it to me. Well, if I have anybody in my life that doesn't have a sense of humor, that doesn't have a helpful bone in their body, I would never really ask them this question anyways. So what I do is I ask people who are great at what they do and they help others and they are very helpful and they're open to being helpful, I ask them some questions. Um, for those people that do get it, this is for you. So let's start with Haley Amaya with Wilhelmina in Los Angeles. Um, she's gonna answer some questions for photographers. Let's go. So introduce yourself and which agency you're from. And okay. That's it. Now. <laughs> Hi, my name's Haley Amaya and I'm with Wilhelmina. When you shoot with a lot of photographers, can you give, and this is, um. These are intermediate and beginner photographers, mm -hmm. so I'm teaching them that they need to do test shots and work their way up to getting agency models because the difference is an agency model shows up, she knows how to be professional, they've been vetted, where an Instagram model um, hasn't really had any of that stuff besides detox tea, right? When you are working with a photographer, can you give one or two tips that would really help you as a model perform better? Um, just like before them like when the model gets there like I feel like create a vibe like like oh hi how are you and, like talk to them and like open up so like you're not like oh like oh just hide and like get straight to work because then it, like it helps you like create something nice humanize it and just yeah. make it a personal interaction right? yeah you guys what Haley said right here is super important and it's something that I talk about in my ebooks which that link is this in the description below um, Get on their level. Get not on their level like they're lower than you in society stature. Get on their level. Kneel down. Sit on a stool. Sit on an apple box or a chair. Uh, lean against the wall. But get down on their level. When they are in hair and makeup and they have a chance to um, have a conversation, have a conversation with them. But don't bring up things about photography uh, a lot. Um, talk to them about life and traffic. We all talk about traffic, right? So how about how was traffic? Where do you live? Oh, that's cool. I love that city. Um, I have some friends in that city. We went to the so-and-so uh, restaurant the other night. Relate to them on a human level, the same wavelength, okay? When you do that, what you're doing photographically is you are eliminating the uncomfortable getting used to each other parts earlier and you are doing it and while she's in the makeup chair or while he's in the makeup chair okay so this is why it's really important number two they are a guest of your shoot you are the boss you are the director the pilot of this entire project so you want to be the one that makes everybody feel welcome and you don't want to be an arrogant photographer I know that you're not trust me you would never follow my channel if you were and then as far as giving instructions do you prefer and I know that each model is different do you prefer that a photographer gives you instructions constantly or just gives it to you a little in the beginning and then allows you to do your thing um constantly honestly a little bit of both I like when like you're shooting and like oh do this do that and like smile or move a little like I think it helps I like what she said about um, talking to them but also pulling back now I know that there are different personalities for photographers. I'm not a huge talker and I actually have a, I have a complex about being that photographer. And what that means is the one that's like, love it, baby, love it. Oh, you're so sexy, love it. 
I hate that and I fear that, right? I, I talk to them, I give them some directions and I, and, I'll say, and I will say this, okay, so this girl is a not girl next door. She's the troublemaker down the street. She's beautiful, she knows she's beautiful. She's a little vixen-y. Um, I want you to look down on them. Nobody is as pretty as you are. So I give them these character things that they could play off of. I touch uh, on that on the music and I say feel the music, listen to the words of the song, that helps them. Give them instructions, give them the tools that they need for their success, but then pull back a little bit and let them get there. That's what I find really, really helps. Um, so I hope that that helped you too, but I'm glad that Haley touched on that. Let the models do what they do. You do what you do, let your hair and makeup do what they do. Everybody stand in their lane. And here's the thing about creative people, stand back a little bit. Let them do what they do, just as you and I would love for people to stand back and let us do what we're great at. Okay, and if a photographer, let's just say a photographer hits you up via Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. What is something that they could say that would get you to be more inclined to say yes to shooting with them? What are you looking for? Just seem professional, like don't come out like, oh like, like some come out like, oh hey, like let's shoot. Like now like say like, oh like I'm doing this, that like I would like to like use your face for this and like is there something I could do to like help you or like your information or somewhere I could contact you or your rate or something like that. Stuff like that. Okay, just be upfront and yeah. be professional about it. Just, yeah. Okay, give all the, I tell them everybody the five don't. W's, who, what, when, where. Yeah, and don't seem like a weirdo. And then, like, you know how your Instagram, like, cause they're gonna click on your Instagram, like, oh, let's see like what he's about or she. And then, like, if you don't have like good pictures, like they're not gonna want to shoot with you. So like, I guess your Instagram, like if you're gonna DM people through Instagram, have a good portfolio on your Instagram. Do you think that it's better from a model's perspective? Do you think that it's better that they have less pictures that are great versus a whole bunch of options? I think quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yes. Yes. I love that Haley touched on this. Have a brand, you guys. Um, I just told someone just yesterday and we were at the beach and they said, oh, I love to do landscape and I love portraits and I love weddings and all of that. And I tell people, understand your branding. It's one thing to shoot it because you love it and you go here and here and here and here and that's great. But when you are showing your brand and you're selling it, um, nobody wants a jack of all trades. And the reason why is very logical when you think about it is that if you are, if you put yourself in the, in the brain of a brand or a model or let's just go to a model because this is a model situation. If you do some wedding stuff and it's beautiful, then you do some baby stuff and it's beautiful. Then you do some food photography and it's beautiful. Then you do some fashion photography and it's beautiful. How is that model supposed to feel confident that you are going to give them a fashion look instead of wedding lighting or infant lighting? You see what I'm saying? Now, if you want to get into fashion photography, I'm telling you stick to one or two styles and be known for that. I talk about this in my ebook too, which again is in the description below. Uh, when you when you are solid on that one style or the second style, what you're really doing is telling the brand or the ad agency that you are a sure hit. You are a guaranteed bullseye for a particular style. If they see wedding and then they see landscape and then they see some fashion, what they're not sure of, what you're really telling them is you might get a little of this, you might get a little bit of that. They can't put their career at risk. They can't put their budget at risk. They cannot put their deadline or their brand at risk. Okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to go for people who are a sure thing. The people hiring you are not creative. Usually they are paying you to be creative. So when they see a car and then they see a plate of food and then they see, um, a model by the pool and then they see a beautiful bride they're like uh, oh my god I don't know what I'm gonna get I'm just gonna go to the next person and this is true all right so I'm so happy you guys listened to this I'm gonna do more of this where I surprise my industry friends I'm gonna the reason why I surprise them is because they are a lot more honest they don't have edited answers 
and they just talk to you on the spot and they're very real and they're very cool and I find it kind of funny okay um, also I keep I, I kept mentioning my ebooks I actually have a part one and part two ebook complete guide to your fashion photography career and it takes you everything from idea up here to your mood boards to contacting agencies selling your vision and it takes you through everything every single thing you can imagine what order you should hire your team um, what kind of models you should look for what kind of agencies you should go to it comes with a free bonus gift of over 225 agency contacts and then book two is everything from the moment you put your camera down to going through selections going through edit uh, the order of delivery how you can maximize on it how you could um, you know make additional money out of it how you should archive it how you should handle questions from the client it's everything it's basically a decade of my career before Kanye West before Mariah Carey JLo Madonna all these people I'm taking all of those putting it together in a two-part book that you can finish in about four hours and it is an incredible deal so that link is down below um, I hope you guys learned a lot subscribe to this channel please right there like and comment I read every single comment and I answer to all of them okay thank you so much my name is Walid Azami I will talk to you guys next time